time now for business. CEO of the Volta River Authority, Emmanuel M.P. Dakwa, says the company's mountain debt situation is currently under control as government's intervention has worked effectively. Speaking at the launch of the company's 57th anniversary here in Accra, Mr. M.P. Dakwa also noted that VRA's decision not to purchase crude oil for power generation again has also inured to the benefit of the company's finances. He was speaking in an interview after the launch of the anniversary. Karen Dudu reports. The VRA was established on April 26, 1961, with the mandate to generate, transmit, and distribute electricity. The authority operates a total in store generation capacity of 2,436.5 megawatts from the two hydroelectric plants in Akosombo and Pong, as well as a number of thermal facilities. The theme for this year's celebration is the new VRA, Powering the Future. Chief Executive Officer of the Authority, Immanuel Enchi Dakwa, explained that government's efforts at settling the company's debts together with the company's own strategy is working effectively. There was a re recent issue of the Esla bonds out of uh, 4.7 billion Ghana cities that was realized. Two point, roughly 2.4 billion was used to liquidate our debts, what we consider to be our legacy debts. That has improved our business. Our balance sheet has completely changed. Now we can do the business much better than we used to be. We are in a more financially healthy position than we used to be. So the debt issue was there. The debt issue is being addressed. That's not to say that it's been completely addressed because, you know, eventually the government will raise 10 billion. So far, they raised, the government has raised 4.7 billion. So as additional flows come in, the debt will be liquidated. We are not accumulating debt. And how are you making this possible? Well, we've introduced a number of things. Uh, we have better cost control than, than we used to have. Uh, our ability to run on gas and gas alone has helped because gas prices are predictable now. It's determined by the PURC and it stays that way. In the good old days when we're running on light crude oil, we're, we're left to the global market on what crude oil prices were. And they were all over the, the place. So that was part of the reason why we ran into, the, into our financial difficulties because once the prices started spiking and we didn't have the necessary adjustment in tariffs so that we could recover our costs, it, it led to an accumulation of debt. On his part, Deputy Chief Executive of the VRE, Kofi Ellis, says there is the need for energy to be persistently conserved. The solution to eradicating energy challenges in Ghana are experienced during the days of uh, power shortage it's not only to produce more electricity, but to cultivate the habit of using electricity judiciously. Ladies and gentlemen, do you know that by simply turning off lights when not in use, unplugging unused devices such as television, computers, air conditioners from their sockets, and engaging in bulk ironing can make a huge difference in the electricity bill and save you a lot of money. This is the power of energy conservation. As part of its anniversary celebrations, the authority awarded some basic school pupils. They took part in a quiz competition organized by the authority earlier this year. Reporting for Joy Business, Karen Dodu. In other news, Vice President Dr. Mahamoud Ubaumia is making a strong case for the unification of all pension schemes in the country to be captured under the Tier 1 and 2. Now, according to the Vice President, the current structure where some public sector workers under the CAP 30 scheme don't contribute but enjoy a lot of benefits is putting pressure on government's finances. The Vice President made the call when he addressed participants at a stakeholder meeting on unification of pension schemes in the public sector here in Accra. Bring you details of that story subsequently. My name is Imano Abwaji. We have you. That's it for business. Have a good morning.